While Leo Messi was having the time of his life celebrating his well-deserved World Cup victory, South Bay was busy getting the cringiest man alive trophy. This is the reason why Messi was infuriated by South Bay. Instagram's meat-slapping superstar of mediocrity came really close to receiving his own medicine from the hands of Leo Messi. La Pulga was on party mode after realizing his dreams of winning the World Cup when Nusret Gökçe, aka Salt Bay, decided to do his best to spoil the Argentines moment. As Messi was trying to reach his wife Antonella Racuzzo to share his joy, Salt Bay pulled back La Pulga multiple times to give his entourage an opportunity for capturing the moment. Moment. He must have totally missed Argentina versus the Netherlands, because since that game, it is impossible for anyone to willingly get on the wrong side of Leo Messi. Hashtag Gemiras Bobo, if you know what I mean. Although Messi managed to control himself despite looking extremely annoyed, football fans around the world were not as cool as La Puga. The exchange immediately became viral, and when Salpe thought he got away with a smirk from Messi, things got pretty nasty. Fans around the world let South Bay have it with both barrels. Why though? Well, let's just say the fans had a few good reasons. For starters, annoying Leo Messi wasn't the only thing the celebrity chasing chef did on the night. Getting the most awkward thumbs up in the history of mankind from Angel Di Maria, annoying the heck out of Christian Romero and Lisandro Martinez at the same time, taking a bite out of a gold medal, or kissing the World Cup as if he was a part of the squad was among his antics. You know, just like the guy who celebrates getting an A in class despite having done none of the work. Although Gokje took the hit, he wasn't the only one getting the stick. Gianni Infantino, the man who is in charge of FIFA, was targeted as well. Fans were questioning how in the world a meme as old as yesterday's newspapers could get into the field, rip the biggest prize of international football from the hands of players who won it, and take selfies while kissing it. FIFA, at least on paper, has some strict rules when it comes to touching the World Cup, let alone slapping, caressing, or kissing it. According to football's governing body, the original FIFA World Cup trophy can only be touched and held by a very select group of people, which includes former winners of the FIFA World Cup and heads of state. Now, South Bay might be the leader of a successful restaurant chain where clients get to eat gold-plated hunks of meat for jaw-dropping prices, but pretty sure they can only get him as far as being a head of steak and not a head of state. However, being Gianni Infantino's friend must come with some premium quirks and features, as South Bay doesn't look like he matches these extremely strict rules. FIFA's president is among the list of high-profile clients of South Bay, which includes some of the biggest stars of the beautiful game. In fact, the Swiss-born president was in the chef's restaurant in Qatar during the World Cup, where he said, football unites the world and Nusret unites the world as well. Well, the question is, should a man who became famous by serving meat in a bizarre way become a de facto ambassador of the beautiful game? I will let you be the judge. At least we now know Leo Messi's response. Do you think it was a mistake on FIFA's end to let South Bay in? How do you find the way La Pulga responded to him? Be sure to let us know. Messi's heated exchange wasn't the only thing that went viral after Argentina's World Cup victory. Check out this video to find everything you need to know about the black cloak La Pulga wore as he lifted the World Cup. See you next time.